Hey guys, welcome to my 23 week update. My camera is like half uh, dead, so if it dies, I might have to come back and revisit this. But yes, I'm 23 weeks, so let's look and see what's up with Baby. Baby is the size of a large mango. Baby can hear sounds outside of my body now, so can hear voices or just different loud noises. Also, Baby's digestive tract is starting to work and um, get practice. It just says that Baby will also start to be more active in their kicking, which I have definitely experienced that. As for me, for 23 weeks, um, I'm doing pretty well. I feel like my body is in a little more pain. My belly is definitely bigger, and so I just feel like this week I've been feeling a lot more like growing pains from my belly. I think Baby's just like growing a lot this week and so my belly is stretching a lot more and so it's kind of been uncomfortable for me a couple days. I'm still having problems with sleeping, um, not falling asleep, but just waking up in the middle of the night and then not being able to fall back asleep. Um, that's been really hard for me. I've been really hungry lately, um, wanting to eat all the time, although not much like sounds that good, like I'm not really craving things. Um, so it's kind of hard because like I'm always hungry, but nothing really are things that I want to eat. I don't know. So that's been kind of a struggle. I'll show you guys a uh, 23 week belly up update. I feel like I haven't shown my belly in a while. I'm actually wearing this cute little shirt. Let's see if I can show you. Um, my mom actually got me this shirt when I was pregnant with my first pregnancy with my oldest. And it's got a little baby with a Santa Claus hat on. I don't know if you can see it. And it says like peekaboo on it. So I'm wearing that today and the boys love it they keep thinking the baby is playing peekaboo with them they're like it's baby sister it's super cute but anyway i'll show you a 23 week bump day so here is my belly this is obviously a maternity shirt um but i'll lift it up because i just have my maternity jeans on but here you go here is the belly my belly button is like almost flat now which i feel like doesn't happen this early on i feel like usually that's more towards the end i still haven't seen that linear whatever that thing is that line that develops on your belly i haven't seen that but here is my belly at 23 weeks sorry if you hear my youngest crying in the background he i'm trying to get him down for a nap he's been not feeling well and sick and he needs to sleep but he's been having a really hard time falling asleep right now so Try to get this video in before I have to go get him and then he doesn't take a nap. I feel like this pregnancy has been messing with my vision. My vision is so bad right now, like I cannot see things from very far away if they're tiny. Um, and I've noticed it getting worse as the, pre as the pregnancy progresses on. So I'll have to see like after this pregnancy is over, like if my eyesight gets better or if it stays bad and I need to like go get glasses or something. But yeah, I have the camera prep like up on a dresser right now and so I'm sitting on my bed and I cannot read like any of the stuff on the screen right now. <laughs> like, oh, that's so bad for my eyes. Um, my heartburn has been touch and go. Some days I need Tums, some days I don't. I do only need Tums once a day if I do need them at this point, so it's not been too annoying yet. Also, headaches haven't really been bad this week. I think I took Tylenol once this week. So that's been really nice. Mostly like still in the second trimester, so I was still feeling like relatively good. Um, I do feel like as each day goes on, like my energy goes down. <laughs> Um, I just find myself so exhausted at the end of each day just with like taking care of the kids that I already have and growing a human and then like house chores and stuff. I just find myself exhausted at the end of the day. Not that like I need to go to sleep, but just like exhausted like I can't get up. Like I just want to sit and not move. I am still getting leg cramps all the time. I actually haven't gotten one in a couple days but I'm still getting them all the time in the morning when I first wake up, I stretch my legs, I do it subconsciously, and then I usually always get leg cramps. Okay, sorry about that. Um, my camera ended up dying, so I had to wait for it to charge, and now I'm coming back to it, and I have Felix joining me now. <laughs> um, I totally forget what I was talking about, so 
sorry if I end up repeating myself. I do feel like I'm out of breath a lot more. Um, going up and down the stairs, I get winded. <laughs> Baby's kicks are a lot more forceful. I feel her all the time, um, especially when I'm laying down at night. But really anytime, she kicks constantly, which is a great because I can always know that she's okay. Um, but yeah, she kicks all the time. Mostly they're very low, but sometimes I will get them up top or on the side here. Just like with my other pregnancies, if anything is ever like pressing up against my bump, then like the kids will be laying on me or something, then she kicks like crazy. And that happened the exact same way when I was pregnant with Porter and Grayson. So super cute. She's sassy already, I can already tell. I was so pumped. I went to the store the other day and they had all of their Thanksgiving clothes, Thanksgiving kid clothes, 90% off. And so I was able to get some really cute um, baby girl clothes for, cause she'll be six months on her first Thanksgiving and then 18 months on her second. So I got cute little outfits for like $2 each. I was so pumped about that. Still need to get a lot of clothes for her, but um, I'm doing what little I can. <laughs> I don't really have too many cravings. Every night I seem to want a peanut butter sandwich. So I guess I am craving peanut butter. I just can't get enough of it. I want it so bad. And also I am always craving pizza. I always want pizza, I don't know why. Any kind of pizza, I'm not picky about it. I just love pizza. So I guess peanut butter and pizza. And actually the other day, I had the strangest craving for Sprite, which I kind of gave up pop. My teeth, it's just really not good for my teeth. I'm just the kind of person where if I drink pop, it just rots my teeth, like they just can't handle it. So I gave it up. Honestly, when I drink pop, it just makes me thirsty. So I gave it up, but I had the strangest craving the other day for Sprite. I never went and got it because I did. I was like, it's not good for me, but I was craving it. It was kind of funny. It is getting harder to carry the kids. Um, Grayson doesn't want to be held as much, but Porter, my uh, second, always wants to be held, especially when we're going up and down the stairs. And so it's getting harder and harder for me to carry him and this baby at the same time. Um, also, it's getting hard for me to bend over and pick things up. Thankfully, I have the kids to do it for me. But I find that whenever I do have to bend down and pick something up, I'm like groaning to myself. Anthony is always like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I just don't like bending over. <laughs> Um, I do feel like my congestion in my nose has gotten better. The past couple of weeks I've been talking about how I've needed to like blow my nose every morning, it just once and um, it'd be all mucusy and stuff and then I'd be fine the rest of the day. And I haven't blown my nose and geez, I can't even remember because I just haven't needed to. So my nose has been much, much better. Um, I still have kind of a lot of mucus in my mouth and things like that. Um, but yeah, definitely much better on the nose end. So I don't know if it just took me forever to get over that one cold or just a difference in pregnancy. I'm just like, as the pregnancy goes along, I, I'm really not sure. <laughs> Still no progress on the baby name yet. Um, I went over my list with Anthony. He doesn't have any names, of course. He's such a boy. Um, I have a list of names and funny enough, all of my names end up in end in the letter Y, I guess I just like that, except I do have a few that don't end in Y. Um, but Anthony basically said he didn't like any of the names on my list, so yeah, we're not close to naming baby girl, um, but we still have time, so that's okay. Right now, I'm in the process of trying to find a newborn photographer. I'm so, so sad. I had the same uh, photographer that I used for my first two babies and i was planning on using her again but she has upped her prices so so much um when i started out with her i think her newborn photography was like 300 maybe under that and now it's at 700 dollars and that's like not even the full thing like you have to pay extra if you want like the whole album like it used to be you could just get the whole album and so I'm like, I just, I don't feel like I can justify paying $700 for newborn pictures. Like I, I definitely think newborn pictures are worth it, but not 
$700 worth. So I've been um, looking around trying to find a new newborn photographer, which is kind of sad, kind of scary because I want it to look similar, obviously, to um, my first two. So I have like very set criteria I want. Um, a lot of photographers, it seems, like to come to your house and do like lifestyle sessions. Um, and people seem to really like that. I hate that because I am not an interior decorator. My house is not decorated nice to look up pictures. And when I have a baby, the last thing I wanna worry about is cleaning the house and making it look nice for a photographer to come and take pictures. I'd much rather go to the studio and have the photographer just do everything with all of her sets and props. So it's been kind of hard to find somebody who does studio pictures I'm finding, which is weird. But I've narrowed it down to a few, so I'm sure I'll figure it out. But I mean, even though it's December and I'm not due until um, April, it's like I gotta start, I gotta book somebody now because um, these photographers will only book like a couple of uh, newborns each month and then they just book up and then they won't take anymore. So if I wait too long, then I will be out of a photographer or a good photographer at least. So it's a little stressful. <laughs> I think that's gonna be kind of it. I have no idea if this is a long vlog or a short vlog because I had to I had to do it in two clips. So I'm sorry if it's long and I'm sorry if it's short and hopefully it's the right amount. I don't know. And I still have no idea what I was talking about when the camera cut out. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> oh man, this is just a whole mess. I'm doing this video like a day late because Porter's been sick and I wasn't able to vlog yesterday. It's just been a hot mess here, but thankfully, it's not a hot mess with baby. She is doing well. I have my next doctor's appointment in like two weeks. So I'm excited for that. And then I think, I think after my next appointment is my glucose, I think. Um, so we will get ready for that. But anyway, I'm gonna close this out. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I would love to answer them, any kind of question you have. And make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.